wants a pug. I can't tell you how excited I am for our vacation to Florida tomorrow. I always thought Bob wasn't Bob. And look at that. It's the parrot I made friends with. When I first got to Florida, I was feeling homesick, and he helped me feel better. A kokma getting grip eating dancing singing parrot? Woo! You know, parrots can live a long, long time. Hmm, I wonder if I'll ever see him again. What, what rhymes with Florida? Did you hear that, Rolly? Bob's right, Florida is hard to rhyme with. I can't wait to play the beach with Bob. <laughs> Sorry, guys. The beach is gonna have to wait. I'm not feeling that well, so I'm gonna rest here until I feel better. That totally makes sense. I get it. I do miss my stick collection back home in the backyard. I smell a mission. Let's go. Wait, how are we gonna find that parrot? Bob said that the parrot knocked down coconuts and ate grapes. Bob did say he first met the parrot while on a walk in a garden. Then we should go on a walk. I love walks. Hey, we know you. Bob! Sorry, Nellie. Are you Bob's bird? We came here on vacation to play with Bob on the beach. Except Bob doesn't want to play because he's homesick. Now we're looking for Bob's birdy friend to help him feel better. <laughs> the bird I heard singing was right over there. Just like that sneaky I think the way. singing is coming from here. Me again. <laughs> Rolly, I need some help. Puppy power coming through. You are the best seagull saving pups in all of Florida. And I don't know what rhymes with Florida. Right? It's unrhymable. Except Jonathan isn't the right kind of singing bird. He's a seagull. Bob's bird is a parrot. And Bob's bird knocks coconuts out of trees. I know, I know. Oh, no! oh! Bingo, there's a bird knocking coconuts out of that tree. It looks exactly like Bob's bird. Ah, Bob's bird, Bob's bird. Down to the well, we found him. Bird to the word, you did. Bird to the word. Come on, Rolly, let's get Bob's bird back to the hotel. Then when Bob wakes up from his nap, he'll be all, hey, he's my parrot friend from when I was little. And then he'll feel better. Hey, Bob's bird, come with us to Bob's hotel. Rock, Bob's hotel. Me too, except the sand is so hard to walk on. Whoa! We can use them to bring him back to Bob's hotel. Over here, Bob's bird. Look, grapes. Yummy. And now there's a third Bob's bird. Ah! Rolly, there can only be one Bob's bird. Bingo, I think these parrots are only repeating things they've already heard us say. Ah, repeating things. Ah, heard us say. Bob's bird also sang and danced. Whichever one sings and dances must be Bob's bird. Any one of you guys like to sing and dance? <sighs> I think Bob's bird might need a little inspiration. We need to sing and dance, and maybe Bob's bird will decide to join us. Shake your tail feather. Shake your tail feather. Do a little parrot dance. We're looking for Bob's bird. Shake your tail feather. Shake your tail feather. Do a little parrot dance. Parrot dance. We're looking for Bob's bird. Bob's bird, Bob's bird. If you got some... Yeah, I don't know how we can know which one's the best one that's supposed to be Bob's bird. That was a mouthful. Bob could wake up at any time. He said the same thing Bob says when he's frustrated. Suffering side orders of seaweed salad. Seaweed salad. But the only way he'd know to say that is if he heard Bob say it. Back to Bob. Surprise. Bye-bye, other parents that are not Bob's bird. Not Bob's bird. What are you two so excited about? Hey there, fellas. Wait, is that who I think it is? Why, well, I'd recognize that voice anywhere. Oh, I can't believe it. Good job, guys. We did it, Rolly. You know what, pups? I feel so good, I feel like going to the beach. Yay, we're going to the beach with Bob. Yeah, we are. Your stick collection is huge. You know it, and it's gonna be even huger when we get that one. Oh no, 
Zero. I can. Get some trees, beavers. Yay! Sounds like that cloud outside has a cough, too. <laughs> That's thunder, Rolly. So, you know how the beavers built that beaver dam for Captain Dog? You mean that thingy made of sticks that kept the Captain Dog headquarters from floating away? Exactly. Beavers. I meant beavers. Right. So our mission is to find a beaver to teach us so we can protect the doghouse for Bob. It's gonna be an awesome adventure. We're super duper up. Oh, 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 Going on a mission. Going on a mission. Five, four, three, two, one. Beavers! Any beavers around here? <gasps> There's one. A beaver? Come on, Rolly. With all the trees here? You'd think there'd be a lot more beaver. You're a beaver! You betcha I'm a beaver, and my name is Busy. I fell tree so fast, it'll make you dizzy. Wow, I'm good at chewing, but that was amazing. I'm great at spitting rhymes and chewing trees. I'll build a beaver dam. Any chance you can teach us? We know you're really busy and all. Hey, I may be busy, but the beaver creed is you always start to help a friend in need. So, I've been working around the clock. Wow, your stick collection is even bigger than mine. Well, this isn't just a stick collection, puppy buddy. Why don't you guys knock down a tree while I get these logs in place? One tree coming right up. Wow. You know how beavers have those big teeth? Yeah, they're kind of hard to miss. Well, we have teeth too. Maybe we can chew down a tree like Busy. I love chewing on sticks. This tree's bark is worse than our bite. I thought it would have fallen over by now. Me too. How else can we knock down a tree? <laughs> the tree made me fall over instead. Have a nice flight? Yeah, but we couldn't chew down a tree after all. <laughs> no worries, puppy dog. Don't just throw them down willy-nilly. No, no, do the Busy, the Beaver, the Chris house. Here we go. Chris, cross. Use your paws, lay one stick over the other. I say Chris, crossing's not just for fun, I'll tell you pups why specifically. When you take a bunch of sticks and stack them like this, you get maximum stability. Is it done? Not yet. The water is still leaking through right there, see? It's only a little leak. Then we'll help you find a stick that's a perfect fit. Got one! <laughs> Now we've got to go build our own to save our doghouse. Thanks, Busy. Bye. Oh, no. The rain got even rainier. Hurry. Cross. Use your paws. Like one stick over the other. I say, Chris. Cross. Use your paws. Now, no. Just like the one on Busy's beaver dam. And the lake is getting bigger. Just like he said it might. You do. Pissy! <gasps> the stick? It's just water. I'm coming, puppies. It looked like you needed this. We did need that. And look, we stopped the water. <laughs> Pissy is all dry. Thanks, Arf. We put the sticks there, Bob. Yeah, we built a dam. <laughs> After it stops raining, what do you say we curl up on the couch and watch some Captain Dog? Arf! I'm falling! <laughs> How was your flight? A little bumpy on the landing. How I wish I could be with you. So, I invented this to do the kinds of things I'd do if I was here. Hi, Bingo. Hi, Rolly. I call him ARF, which stands for Auto Doggy Robotic Friend. 
Arf is here to do it all. I even programmed them to clean up any mess that you make before I get home from work. But with Arf here, no more mess. Hmm, he looks friendly. Wanna meet Arf? Maybe later. I'm trying to get this one spot on the back of my neck really clean, which means... Make a mess! Yeah, make a mess! So Arf can have fun cleaning it up! Wait a minute, you want us to mess this place up? Someday. First I gotta learn how to read! Oh, nice job. I can hardly see the floor at all. I'm okay. Wow, if Bob came home from work and saw a mess like this... Bob also programmed Arf to beg. I don't think we have another mess in us. Yeah. I either need a longer leg or a shorter neck. Leave me alone, dog body! Wait! No! Wait! Excuse, Arv. Oh, Arv is excused. Because Bob only programmed Arf to clean up after Bingo and Rolly, not to clean up after Hissy and Arf. So I guess the two of us are gonna have to clean this place ourselves. Puppy dog style. That sounds kind of fun. It's not gonna be fun, Rolly. It's going to be work. Clean up time, working together. Let's get that man off the floor. Just gotta wash these towels, and our job is done. What are we gonna do while they're washing? I'm gonna get you, Turkey! Hey, Rolly! Whoa! Whoa! Quick question. How much soap did you put in that washing machine? Look at me, Bingo! Ho, ho, ho! my clothes right after they come out of the washing machine. <laughs> I guess my new invention really worked, huh? Oh. Excuse I the sign I've been looking for. Now that is one fine looking broccoli. <laughs> Hi there, puppies. Hey, little piggy. We're waiting for Bob. He's buying vegetables. Well, do you want to come see the most awesomest place here? but it can really wear a puppy out. Um, That's why after we pigs get all muddy. Well, it sure looks like you had fun exploring the farm, you little muck monsters. I can hardly tell which one of you is which. <laughs> huh? <laughs> I know, Hissy. These two are a mess. And then you'll go, ah. I should go first so Rolly can keep pretending to be a pig. Okay. 
Yeah, you might want to leave him in there extra long since he was extra piggy when he went in. I never said I was. My name's Snout. <laughs> oh, no. Bob must have brought that piglet home by mistake. I found this one sleeping near a tree. <sighs> I'm sure he's as hungry as all of you. <laughs> yummy, yummy, yummy. I get to fill my tummy. Okay, time to pig out. <laughs> We're gonna curl up like we always do and go back to sleep. Wait, where's Bingo? I can't go to sleep without my brother. A dog who's starting to wonder where his brother, the dog, is. That's so silly how you play pretend. Bingo, where are you? You and I are going on a mission. <laughs> Snow? <laughs> Except nothing looks familiar. All it looks is tilty. Thanks for lunch, piggies, but it's time for me to go. Snow? There you are. You're harder to keep track of than my own brother. Whoa! It's a nice place to visit, but I don't want to live there without Bingo. What you doing out of the pig pen, little piggy? I'm looking for my brother. My goodness! You're not a little piggy at all. You're a puppy. You must love your brother a lot. I do, and now I need to figure out where to find him. That farm has got to be close by, which means my brother is too. Rolly? Rolly! <gasps> Bingo! Rolly! Bingo! I knew you'd come find me. I just knew it. When we were apart, we spent every moment together. Every morning, afternoon, and night. Yeah, you were always with me by my side. You're kind of a slob, and you kind of drool. But when you're not here, I miss you. Let's make sure we're never separated. Never. Then we have to figure out where that farm you live on is. It's right there. Hey, I'm home! Hey, what? I'm back, Kissy. I'm back! Did you miss me? Sure. Yeah. I want to go through together. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Ar Arf did not make you dry doggies. <laughs> oh, hey, hey, you two are soaked. 